from the Canadian North American Ballroom Champions and uh, travelled uh, around the world representing Canada at five World Championships. <laughs> You may have seen us on different television shows such as Dragon's Den, Healthy Gourmet, as well as Participation's Get Moving, Get Inspired Fitness Campaign. We are going to continue to look at the waltz. I know last, uh, last Tuesday we looked at the uh, little bit of the international style uh, waltz. Before we get on to the lesson, yesterday we had a Wonder Dance practice and we just wanted to thank all the students that came out last night. <laughs> company uh, provided this wonderful uh, charcuterie uh, board for us. It was a actually a black wall, a <laughs> beautiful piece of wood and uh, yeah. all laid out with the, the cheese, the beautiful cheeses and meats and uh, all the accoutrements to go with that. So we thank uh, the block company. They're from downtown Burlington, mm -hmm. newly opened. Um, their website is uh, theblockco.ca uh, remember, theblockco.ca. Check them out. Also, Troy, thank you. Thanks, and, Troy, very uh, much. So we'll dedicate, actually, this, uh, this uh, waltz lesson to Troy and all his staff at The Block. All right, my weight is on the right. Ladies, you can follow Beverly for the moment. These steps in international are technically called change steps, okay? So we're going to do a series of two change steps moving forward and one change step moving back. Next step, left foot, side, and feet together. Now, my right foot is going to do the next change step. It's going to go forward, side, and feet together. Now the last change step, I'm going to move back. Ladies, you're going to move forward. You can follow belly again. So the last change step, my left foot goes back, side, and together. So weight on the left, back, and side, feet together. Change the weight, lift the heel of the opposite foot, which is our left foot. That's the one we're going to use next. Progressing again backwards. And back, and side, and feet together. Now I'm going to progress forwards. My right foot is lifted, that tells me that's the one I'm going to use next. And forward now. Forward and side, feet together. Forward, side, together. Forward, side, together. Back, side. Repeat. Forward, side, together. Forward, side, together. Back, side, and together. We went forward down the floor. Now by altering it slightly so that I start on a diagonal, if I do the same pattern again, so the first step is a forward change step. So we go step, side, and close. Now, the second part is called what's called a one, two, three of a natural. But I'm going to move forward, but I'm going to add a rotation. So I step, now I rotate, and I close. Now, in that pattern, when we kept it down the line, I went back on the third. I'm going to go back, but I'm going to add another rotation. So I go back. I rotate and notice now I'm on the center of the floor. Now if I continue with that same pattern again, I step forward, side together. So there's no turn on that. Now on my next forward, I'm going to add a rotation. I step forward, I turn feet together. And then the final step, I go backwards, the final set. So I go back, but I add a rotation. You'll see that you start to get this transformation of what was traveling down the line to starting to turn on these beautiful diagonals. It's back and side, feet together. Change the weight. My heel of my left foot's lifted now. That tells me we're going into the next sequence. Now instead of keeping it just progressing back towards a wall, I'm actually going to add the turn. So adding the turn, now I'm going to go back with my left foot, reach to the side, Bring the feet together, and now I have changed my position to know I am facing down what we call the line of dance, all right? So my next step, again, instead of just going straight forward, I'm actually going to add a rotation. So ladies, right foot forward, and forward right foot, step to the side, feet together, change the weight. Your weight is on the right foot now, and now I'm ready to do my change step. So change step has no rotation to it. So going to be backing the center of the floor, back with the left foot, back and side, feet together. Now I'm going to go back again, but now I'm going to add rotation to this. All right, so back with my right foot, back 
and side feet together. Now I'm going to go on my way home now. I'm going to go forward with my left foot and forward and side feet together. And now this is the same position I began in. I'm just this much further down the space. So you can see how much we've actually traveled in the rotary uh, method. Waltz is one of those dances that feels as if you're floating, all right? So I'm going to take it now on the diagonal. Three, forward, side, together. Forward and turn, together. Back, side, together. Forward, side, together. Forward and turn, together. Back, side, together. And now we're, we've reached where we started. Now compare that to what we did previously with no diagonals and only going down the floor. Here. Forward, side, together. Forward, side, together. Back, side, together. Forward, side, together. Forward, side, together. Back, side, together. Keep playing replay. Your mind will soon adjust nice. to how am I transforming, not down the line of dance, but diagonally to this wall and how we have rotation, you start to learn the beautiful international basic walls. On future episodes, we're going to take this and teach you how to turn corners. And then we'll start the process of teaching Viennese waltz.